some of the students often confuse that uh, they have to read NCERTs from 6th to 12th or 11th to 12th are enough or NCERT studying is enough for the subject or not. Uh, you are asking about optional only? Yes, sir. Yeah, but for optional NCERT is not enough. Hmm. Okay. What we should do, uh, like what should be up approach? There are two types of NCERT in the market. Okay. One is a old NCERT, hmm. other is a new NCERT. Hmm. So new NCERT is a little bit tough to read. So okay. what students should do? They should start with the new NCERT first, hmm. and they should read one book for each section in the history. Okay. Suppose we divide history into four sections: hmm. ancient history, medieval history, modern history, and world, world history. history. They should read. Uh, from uh, class 6 to 12 hmm. and the selective one not the all one hmm. and then after the students should, uh, the students should read uh, one book for each section suppose we have ancient so a student can read R.S. Sharma right. or Upinder Singh okay. in medieval history they can read uh, Satish Chandra hmm. in modern history they can read Bipin Chandra or Sekhar Bandhupade and then world history they can take normal law okay. so if we read four selected book for each section of history uh, we are going to cover it so a student will not like any questions and then there is a practice of math based questions also mm -hmm. so there is a separate book uh, PYQ is coming in the market GKB publication and all so they provide map based solutions so if we, if they solve from there they are going to cover it so uh, of course NCRT is not uh, the only thing we should add some more information but if we read these four books we are going to complete the syllabus of history. Okay, so 